Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Frank's Garage. This is my empire of, I don't know what you would call it, my empire of rust. Uh, customers' vehicles, stuff I own, various things that I work on. As you can see, it's been 24 hours of rain. It's still raining. Let's, uh, let's go take a look and see what I got going on in the shop here today. See, I left the light on overnight. Not a good thing, but hey. Heat's on. Beginning of October. It's been kind of cool lately. So, uh... Like I said, welcome to another episode of Frank's Garage. Here in rainy Lactabonny, Manitoba. So, this is my new uh, project, we'll call it. 1949 Fargo. Believe it or not, wheels are from a caravan, 16 inch. That's how it showed up little tour of the truck and uh, today we're gonna see if we can get the head back on and get it rolling around some nice moss growing on it little tour of the cab this is how it was delivered oh ain't that pretty there's a few odds and ends in there mostly odds the door at least opens now glass is hanging in the door no headliner. Got the uh, cylinder on the back, number six, unseized. Had it rolling over on the starter. Uh, a few words about six volt positive ground starters. You can connect 12 volts to them. They'll turn over. The windings are heavier. They work, you just can't abuse them. Uh, if you want to convert to 12 volts, you put in a Delco alternator as an example. Uh, you can put it to negative ground like normal vehicles and have all your modern conveniences in the cab. It's um, The winding is what determines the rotation of the starter motor. It is not the polarity. I've done this on many occasions on various engines and it's been successful every time. The old bypass oil filter may get retrofitted to something a little more modern, may or may not, depending on if this thing is going to run today, we will find out. The uh, fuel pump I will be doing away with it and running a 12 volt electric just due to the risk of uh, the diaphragm rupturing and filling the crankcase with oil. I had a friend that just destroyed a Chevy six cylinder due to that reason. So I'm going to get away from that altogether. As you see, it needs some glass. Yesterday, when I dragged this thing out of, in out of the rain with the sheen from it being wet, it looked just gorgeous. Maybe I'll have to post a picture up somewhere for you all to look at. But again, this is just a little review as to what I'm working on and for the life of me I don't know why the price was right I guess thanks for watching stay tuned 